Hello, my name is Alenville, and this is the new series I'm going to perhaps make. Depends on what you're going. At least this is a part of the new series where I kind of take a visual novel or a game and show it off while doing this Tuesdays. And if you like it, you can tell me in the comments if you want me to keep going. So let's get this show on the road. New game, enter name, Alenville. Let's go. Then I have to pause here. <coughs> Faster than light technology, advanced Pro propulsion technology, energy weapons. The possibilities are endless. It is rare for us to be in contact with an advanced alien civilization. We have to gather as much information about them as we can. The human race shall rise to new heights. Interstellar colonization will be within our grasp. The second resonance will begin anew. We can solve the energy crisis, world hunger, poverty, everything. As the human race was slowly killing themselves, the salvation came from above. We have to size it at all costs. Well, okay. Alenville. The Earth is in danger. An unknown entity has arrived on our doorstep. We don't know where they came from, what they want, or what their capabilities are. Will they pose a threat or not? Science is perpetually curious in nature. For as long as we have existed, humans have always been trying to seek out the truth. Humans act according to their thoughts. But before we can take action, we must know the truth. However you want to do is up to you. I don't understand. What should I do? What's the mission? Assassination? Recon? Defense? Or is it war? A war? You'll find out soon enough. For now, we want you to simply be there. Assist the base in any way you can. We'll have your artist once. We have enough intel. In theory, you should able to be able to fight. You should have the ability to fight them. Keep that in mind. Fuck me, I'm messing up. Okay. Day zero. We're in the desert. Rise and shine, Lieutenant. We're here. Yeah, yeah. I look out the window and see desert searching farther than the eye can see. Fucking hot sand everywhere. Ah, Where's that green town city? Nowhere near us. We're going straight to base. Alright then. Meh. Okay, so we're somewhere where we have no idea where we are. Cool. We're here, Lieutenant. Alright, thanks for the ride. Still, it's hard to believe that terrorists are planning to an attack on our green city. Make sure to kick their asses, okay? And take care not to die in the desert. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Very funny, haha. Huh? How ironic would it be if his car suddenly broke down in the middle of the desert? I like me. Yay. <laughs> Alright, now to find the man in charge here. Guess I'll ask some random soldier. Um, excuse me. Who's in charge here? That would be General Cornelia. You can find her in the... CIC, or the control room. That's the huge tent over there. Are you a Lenville? I am. Sir! We've been expecting you! Right, thanks for the info. Cornelia, that's a woman's name, right? Let's go meet her, shall we? Ooh. I like the music. Excuse me, I'm looking for General Cornelia. You're looking at her. Oh yeah, hard voice, like her. Cool. Ma'am. Is something wrong, ma'am? Why is she staring at me? No, it's just... I thought you'd be another female soldier. What? Why? God damn it, because I'm called Lenville. Damn you! That's... Sexist. Is she expecting someone else? 
This is Yumi. She's in charge of comms and support. Anytime someone saved your ass on the field, it's thanks to her. Oh, hi, Yumi. N nice to meet you, Lieutenant. Yumi, you're cute. Of course, I'll be depending on you. She looks like a nice girl. Bit shy, though. Alright, that's enough pleasantries. Okay. I'll, I'm all ears, Cornelia. Now, I assume you have been briefed on your tasks on the way here? Or haven't you? I have no fucking idea what you're talking about, girl. I have no idea what I'm do actually doing here. Yay! We don't know anything! Yes! The military is... Once again, proven to be the usefulest unit there is. Alright. I'll paraphrase the words of the higher-ups. Okay. Your mission here is reconnaissance and defense, meaning that you will help with information gathering on these things, and also act as the one and only line of defense for Aquarine City. We're screwed. If I'm the defense, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Have you seen me fail in other games? We're screwed. This base is a black site, meaning that the public must not know of our activity here. Nah, that will probably fail as well. <laughs> right now, outsiders think that this base is an ordinary forward operating base, and we intend to keep it that way. Yes, we're on a forward base. Everyone who played World of Warcraft and was on the Alliance has no ass mirror Taylor or Captain Taylor as he once was. He who always built a forward base. Amazing guy. Trust him. He, forward bases are great. So, we must keep the threat contained on this side of the desert. Okay. Seems fine. Understood. Yes, ma'am. This tent you're in is the Combat Information Center, CIC, or Control Room. Okay. Here we analyze and sort data from the battlefield to support our personnel. If you have more questions, feel free to come here. Okay, that's fine. If I'm not available, you can direct all questions to the Executive Officer Exo Staff Sergeant Yumi. Call sign, Big Brother. Hey. I would have said Big Sister, but, well, if they want to call her Big Brother, okay. Yumi, man the station, please. I'll be taking a Lenville to meet the other members. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yep. I'll probably be doing this a lot. I don't know why. I enjoy it. G Goodbye, Lenville. We're seeing you around, XO Yumi. Oh, before I forget, take this. Okay. An earpiece? Yes, we need to stay in touch at all times, in case of emergencies and the like. Okay, sounds reasonable. Right! A bone conduct earpiece, huh? I thought they'd give me something more sophisticated, like a subdermal implant or something. If you're done... Y yeah ma'am? Follow me. Okay. Right away ma'am. Several people are gathering near a helicopter, probably post-flight checks. Morning, Jen. Whoa. I like her. She has red hair. I'm a fan of redheads. Morning, Captain. Let me introduce you to our newest member, Lieutenant Alenvia. He just arrived here. I don't know why it sometimes can't hmm. stop. <laughs> You're pretty cute. Nice to meet you. Okay. I'll take that as a compliment. Girl, let's do this. Cute? Cute? The cute ones here are you guys. Or maybe my face is too feminine after all? But she's cute, so I'll let it slide. Good job, man. Good job. Nice to meet you. Jennifer, don't tease the new guy. Oh, Jealous. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry, sorry. It's just his expression is so funny. Okay. <sighs> oh, Pauly. That's even cuter. God damn it, Cornelia. You're you're rising in the ranks of cuteness. If you go on, you'll surpass Yumi. Jennifer's a bit higher up, but Yumi is still a bit ahead. Jennifer here is responsible of close air support. C-A-S. She'll be flying that big and fully loaded attack helicopter over there. Fully loaded. Hey, <laughs> big and fully. If you know what I mean. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> big and fully loaded. They think alike. Woo. Oh, yeah, we know what you mean. Don't quote me out of context. Unless you want to sweep the dust off the desert again. What? That is an interesting punishment. How do you end that even? Please spare me, ma'am. Ah, okay. Yeah. Basically. Anyway, new guy, you can just call me Jennifer. No need for the captain nonsense. I'll see you around, kitty. Oh, yeah, I'll see you too. See you, captain. No honorifics. Damn it. I fucked up it. <laughs> Woo! See you around, cutie. I'm sorry. She's a bit unhinged. She's fine. Cornelia, you're still at the bottom. You don't have to go there. It's fine, ma'am. Maybe I shouldn't shave after all. That beard, my friend. You need a beard. I need a beard as well. Ah. This is the cafeteria. You can say that this is the only place where we can find food and beverages in this godforsaken desert. There are donuts. We're fine. And surprisingly, there's a lot of choice here. Ooh, yeah. We don't just sell food here. You can also find items, medicines, and stamina boosters that could save you in the field. Stamina boosters, if you know what I mean. God damn it, why am I going there? Damn it. Anyway, let's if keep If you moving. have time, swing by often. I'll swing by. Damn it. Stop. Understood. Hmm, she's right. I can see a lot of food and desserts on display. They even have donuts. Yeah. My favorite food, and in my mind, the official food of special forces worldwide. Okay. Or not. Maybe I've watched too many cop movies. We can live with that. Hmm, I see someone's reflection in the display. Morning, General. Care for some breakfast? Ooh, Valerie. Valeria? She the stallkeeper? Morning, Valeria. Valeria. I like that name. That's cute. Actually, not cute, but... Okay. I already had breakfast with Yumi. I'm escorting Lieutenant Elenvia here. Report, Lieutenant. Hey. I'm fine, girl. In Cafeteria Valeria, you can get anything from energy drinks, items, and even donuts with an odd number of crushed peanuts on top. What the fuck? Odd number? Why odd? Why odd? Damn it. Why odd? Why? Why? Ooh, so cool. God damn it. Roger. Seems my, like my tummy won't be so miserable after all. Hmm. By the way, have you seen Cecile? Or Eve? Nope, probably not. If you're looking for Cecile, she's over there eating pudding as usual. Ooh, pudding. Do we get a vision of that? <sighs> okay, she's not happy. I don't like that. Again? Seemingly. I'm starting to worry about her well-being. She is the chief tech here, for crying out loud. They are allowed to be a bit egos eccentric. Ego eccentric. The least she can do is take her body health and nutrition seriously. Well, even though up until now she's always done a good job. Of course, the one eating the sweets is always good. Oh, about that. No need to worry, ma'am. I've been spiking her puddings like hell! She ordered 10 cups of that pudding, so I'm sure she has enough carbs and sugar to power that huge brain of hers. <laughs> Whoa! Holy yeah, okay. 
Good girl. Hmm. Pudding monster chief technician. Seems like an interesting fellow. Probably another quirky girl, right? Cecile does sound like a girl's name. Kinda does, yeah. Let's go greet her, Lieutenant. Okay. Following you. Right, ma'am. Uh, um. Oh. <coughs> Interesting sound file. Let's just say that. Interesting sound file. She's eating pudding. Just, just to correct it. Just to state that right now. Just doing that. Good morning, Sergeant. Oh, Sergeant, come. I have no idea about military ranks. Whoa! Now she's spitting out the pudding. Damn it. She's struggling to swallow the last chunks of pudding. Oh, she looks pow she looks like she's pouting. That's cute. She salutes. Good morning, General. Sergeant Cecile ready for duty. Cecile! Cl sounds a bit Russian! Okay. She's a cute Russian girl. Nothing against that. Called it. She actually managed to eat ten of those. <laughs> Just look at those custard cream and puddings. Makes my teeth feel like they'll rot and fall on my... Okay, I thought at the start it would go somewhere else, to be honest. Okay! Yeah, we're going to go that way. Better. I've never been a fan of sweet things, except for donuts. Donuts aren't sweet things. Donuts are essential. Ask Asahina. If, why did I go over to another series? Anyway. Why, you ask? Because donuts are round. What? Uh, roundness is a symbol of perfection, union, and integrity. Okay. Asahina. Male Asahina confirmed. Done. People may not understand it, but those things are of utmost importance in every mission. Yeah, I get that that's important, but why donuts? They never fail my missions. Starting from a piece of round donut each day. Okay. Good morning, Cecile. I thought I already told you that you don't need to be so formal with me, right? Oh, yeah. Ma'am, I have to stay true to the Essex in this military base. That is my principle, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Yep. What takes you here in this morning, General? Usually, you may bring your breakfast to the CIC, right? Right. Oh, I'm just showing the lieutenant here around while also introducing him to you guys. And it's pretty nice to take a walk sometimes and check up on our personnel. Yep. Uh, good excuse. How nice of you, ma'am. Yeah. Is he the new guy? Yeah, I am. Good morning, Sergeant Cecil. I'm a Lenville. It's a pleasure. I'll be counting on you, Sergeant. Salute! Ooh. Likewise, Lieutenant. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. You won't. Except you scream something like Suka Bliat and, and Fit Mead in other games like Dota. Otherwise, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. She salutes and we smile at each other. Even though at first impression she seems... She's pretty unnerving with, with all of the hollowed out corpse of pudding and whatnot. Apparently, she's a good girl. Wow. Okay. I can feel devotion in her words. Yeah. Mother Rasha doesn't... Go away. You won't be disappointed, Lieutenant. When it comes to weaponry and anything technical, she's the best we got. I trust her. She's a, she's a scientist and sugar loving. Best combination ever. <laughs> you praise me too much, ma'am. I'm still nothing compared to you. Ooh. Okay. If you'll excuse me, ma'am, Lieutenant, I need to get back to my work. I'll be seeing you later. Doodles. Cecilia hurriedly walks away to her workshop. How dedicated. We should go to Alenville.
Roger. Desert. And those unending plots of sand over there? The guys call it the Desert of Eternal Sweat. Okay, thank you for this knowledge. This is going to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like my content. And write perhaps in the comment section below if you want me to continue this one. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.